This is a video about the hidden gems of Barcelona. Things that are off the beaten track, but well worth making a bit of time for. Coming up, vintage shopping, a flock of geese. Uh, we're talking about a maze and a market. And some public artwork. Elborn district in Barcelona is where you can find not on the high street style shopping. You'll see some designer names, but they're mm. going to be the vintage kind. It's a bunch of vintage shops and little boutiques. Um, next is Barcelona Cathedral, but more importantly, the cloister in the cathedral. Yeah, so the cathedral itself is this vast Gothic building within the Gothic quarter of Barcelona. Um, it's free to get in, and in the cloister you're going to find 13 white geese, of course. So the 13 geese symbolise the age at which the patron saint of the cathedral, Eulalia, was cruelly tortured and murdered by Romans. Poor, poor girl. Yeah, that's a thing. And you can also spend three euro to get to the top of the cathedral. And right there, you'll see the Gothic architecture up close and personal, as well as some really nice views across the whole city. Yeah, stunning. Thirdly, La Boqueria Market, which is a vibrant mix of colours, stinky fish, gruesome looking cuts of meat, and even some locals too. It's a really good spot to go and practice your bartering skills, if that's something you're into, or just to go and find a nice healthy fruit drink to get you through the day. Or what I would probably recommend is pulling up a stool at one of the bars that they have there, because there's a couple, and you can just observe and watch this crazy Catalan culture mixing with all the tourists mm. and just see it all unravel before you. It's a very cool scene for that. If you're more of a low-key person, um, Park del Labyrinth d'Orta is really hard to say, but it's also really beautiful. It's basically a labyrinth in a park. <laughs> Yeah. It's cool. <laughs> yes, yes it is. I really recommend going there if you just want something a bit serene. It's really nice and very, very green, which is nice to have in the middle of the city. Our fifth and final hidden gem is pretty hard to miss if you're on a certain part of Barcelona Beach anyway. Yep, and that is Rebecca Horn's artwork on Barcelonetta Beach. The beach itself now is really, really beautiful, so it's kind of hard to believe that it used to be really run down prior to the 1992 Olympics. Before this time, it was little more than a shanty town of industrialization and slum-like dwellings uh, that used to house the fishermen. It was basically a fishing village that vastly outgrew itself and meant that living conditions were little more than squalid. Yeah, but luckily there is a happy ending to this story. Um, a lot of money was pumped into the city through the Olympics and um, they used this to move these inhabitants into real proper apartments closer to the city centre. And the locals refer to these this artwork as, quite quaintly, <laughs> the cubes, hmm, like little sugar lumps. That's very pleasant. And that is our Hidden Gems of Barcelona, and I'm sure that you have loads more to tell us about because mm -hmm. it's such an amazing city. So please just leave us a comment in the comment section below. Yep. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>